What's up guys, Mexican Diabetes here. I know the people in the comments are gonna be like, Mexican Diabetes, that's a weird name. Again, you can just call me Mexi for short. Before I get started, I just wanna say, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I got a lot of other Rocket League content, some other tutorials, and if this tutorial works out for you, then thank me by subscribing, please. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to save all your Rocket League replays online, and it's gonna be automatically. Basically, every game you play, it's gonna be saved to uh, this site that I'm gonna talk about, ballchasing.com, and you'll be able to download all your replays from here. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna have to go ahead and download Bacchus Mod. This is a third-party program. It's completely safe. Everyone uses Bacchus Mod, even pros use it. Basically, everyone just uses it to get alpha boost, but you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna wanna download this. I'll leave the link in the description to download Bacchus Mod. Next, you're gonna go to Ball Chasing. I'll leave the link again down in the description, and you're gonna wanna log in. You might have to create an account I created mine through Steam, so I'm going to sign in through Steam. I'm already able to sign in, so I'm just going to sign in right there. Once you created an account or signed in a ball chasing, you're going to want to click the upload in the top left. So this is basically how you're going to get the transfer of replay from Rocket League to uh, ball chasing. So basically, you're going to want to copy this token. Everyone's going to have their own token. It's like a stream key. Hit this copy button right here, and it will copy your token. Now that we've got that token, we just want to X everything out. You're going to open Bacchus Mod if you haven't already. And then you're going to want to launch Rocket League with Bacchus Mod. So mine just injected. Bacchus Mod is open, so we're going to open this. Now that we're in Rocket League, you're going to want to go ahead and hit F2. And this is going to open your mini menu for Bacchus Mod. From there, in your mini menu, you're going to want to go to Plugins. And then there's a section under Plugins for Auto Replay Uploader. You're going to click on the Auto Replay Uploader, and it's going to bring you this section. And what you're going to want to do is under enable automatic replay uploading to ball chasing go ahead and enable that and then you're going to want to put it as public i know that there's options for putting it as private and or unlisted you can do whatever i keep mine public i mean some circumstances people are going to want to keep theirs private for example Kronovi had all his replays on ball chasing public and it ended up leaking the roster for rogue so in some circumstances you don't want to keep all your replays public for the majority of you guys you guys can just keep it public or do whatever you want. Then you're going to want to paste your key that you just got from Ball Chasing into the Ball Chasing Auth key. Again, it's going to be different from mine. I'm going to blur it out for you guys, but you want to paste it right here. And once once that's done, you're pretty much set. You can X that out. You might want to restart your game just to see if everything holds. So just to prove that everything worked, we're going to go back to Ball Chasing and download a replay uh, from probably like yesterday that I played that I don't have just to show you guys the process So you're gonna want to close out Rocket League actually just so when you get this replay downloaded for ball chasing It will sync with Rocket League. So let's just go to ballchasing.com Make sure you're logged in and once you're logged in you're gonna go to replays and my replays hit the drop down And this is gonna save all your replays. I've had this automatically uploading for about a year now Yeah, and yeah, basically just saves all my games so let's say I want to download this, this first one, the last game I played, and it was 1.28 at like, what is that, 11.53 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and click on this replay. There's a lot of cool stats on here that you can look through if you want. A lot of good information on here. It might even help you improve. But for now, to focus on this video, you're going to want to hit this download button. And when you click that, your replay file in the bottom left. So what you're going to want to do is basically save this replay file to your replay folder i didn't click save as it just saved so i'm gonna have to go find it so here's my replay file now you're gonna have to find your replay folder so basically follow these steps your route to your replay folder rocket league replay folder might not be the same as mine but what i have it's documents and it's my games and it's rocket league that's ta games and that's demos you want to save it in this demos folder demos are gonna have all your replay files so i'm gonna click Hold, and then I'm going to drag it into my demos. Now that's going to be in my replays. So when I open Rocket League, we should see it there. So remember this one was called Mexican Diabetes Live Rank Standard Loss. So again, we're going to open Box Mod, play on Rocky Ball. So now that we've opened Rocket League again, we're going to want to go to our replay section. Pretty sure, yeah, profile, and then replays. And look at that. Mexican Diabetes Live Rank Standard Loss. You can click on it. And we successfully did it again. Thank you guys all for watching this tutorial video. I hope this helps you guys a lot. Let's say you hit a nice shot and you missed the replay, didn't save it. 
I hope this saves a lot of people from not having that problem ever again. Make sure you subscribe once again. Follow me on my, all my socials. Mexican Diabetes out.